Hi everyone, this is Cassie here. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. <laughs> so you might know I work as a truck driver in Sweden. Um, I have been working as a truck driver for about 10 years now, which is amazing. And I really enjoy it. I have tried a lot of different drives. Um, and when I can, I make videos. So here we are. And I haven't made an update in a while. I'm very sorry for that, but uh, my life has been a little upside down lately and I'm preparing for moving to a new place very soon. So that's gonna be in focus right now. And I'm working part-time at this job where I deliver pallets usually. It can be like food, it can be uh, engine parts, uh, machine parts even. I delivered some uh, soup, <laughs> like powder soup and also uh, candy and um, right now I have a 15 minute break and I'm gonna be rolling south very soon and I'm gonna load up the truck with uh, I don't know what, uh, vent parts I think <laughs> and it's gonna be a fairly short day I think but um, it didn't really start that way like a quick update I I usually work Mondays and Fridays, but yesterday they asked, can you drive Thursday instead, instead of Friday? And I said, yeah, sure. <laughs> so I'm about to pick up the truck at five in the morning. You want to start early because I'm going to drive in Stockholm and you want to get past the earliest traffic. Stockholm traffic can be awful, you know. So uh, I go to the truck or like the office where, that's, where the key is supposed to be and I can't find the truck key and it's like, Okay, <laughs> is it still in the truck or something? No, I'm like looking everywhere. The truck key is nowhere to be found. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't want to call the boss right now and wake him up for this. But yeah, I found a colleague and he was like calling around to people, the person who drove it yesterday. And uh, yeah, we, we found the key <laughs> eventually. So that took like a half an hour <laughs> and I was already stressed. So I entered the truck and the previous driver had forgotten his uh, diesel card, so he couldn't refuel the truck for me. But he would have done it if he hadn't forgotten the card. <laughs> so that was a bit like, oh well, I'll, I'll just uh, start the day with refueling, that's fine. Both diesel and AdBlue was short, so it's like, mm. But uh, there is a diesel station pretty nearby where I parked the truck, so uh, I'm rolling over there. I stop the truck, I go out, and uh, then I see the terminal is closed. So yeah, no diesel there, so I'm like, okay, I can, uh, I had like 30% diesel left, so it was 
fairly okay though. But uh, I'm not sure how many diesel pumps you have around Stockholm and not many diesel stations are appropriate for a big truck and trailer. But I was thinking I can, I might as well go to Stockholm and do the first unloading because it's not gonna take any diesel for me to do the unloading. Uh, you know, I pick up the truck uh, loaded from the day before, so uh, it was a big terminal. Uh, unloading soup, <laughs> soup pallets. Yeah, usually you check in and you get like a text message. You can unload at this uh, this gate, like gate 39. Uh, so that's very convenient. And it usually goes like it takes a couple of minutes before you get your unloading place. <laughs> but today, <laughs> when I have uh, where I'm at now, the last stop. I had a time schedule. It's like you have to be here at 10.30 to do the unloading. And I was thinking, eh, okay, I can make it. But then when they were gonna hand me a gate to unload in, it took about one and a half hour of waiting time. So I'm sitting there like, hmm. <laughs> but at least I was looking around for a fuel station. So I found one uh, pretty nearby in Jordbro. <laughs> so it worked out. I did the unloading, all went good. I was just driving the little forklift, you know, one of those that you stand on and drive with your thumbs. And I was like, this is so slow. <laughs> I was thinking about this uh, last place, this last delivery. But uh, yeah, I, I got here like 40 minutes late, but they were like, yeah, just back in there and do the unloading. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. That's the thing also, you never know if they're super stressed, they stand at the door waiting for you, like, you have to be here at the exact minute. But no, this was like, okay, delivery, sure, you're late, I don't, I don't mind. <laughs> so that was very nice. The only thing was, uh, when I was done unloading at the first place, I was almost hit by another forklift. I was gonna walk, like, around the corner and, you know, around corners when you round pallets at uh, a warehouse or a terminal. You always have to be prepared, it's gonna be a forklift coming there. And I was like looking and uh, it was green so I started walking and then this dude just zooms out with his forklift. When he sees me he doesn't even slow down, he's like whoops and he just keeps driving. So I almost stumbled upon the forks. Uh, that could have gone bad, but uh, yeah, wearing safety shoes, it's something. Uh, nothing happened, it, it was just very close to uh, something happening. But yeah, I'm good, <laughs> I survived. But I'm, I'm doing good. I think uh, it helps a lot to not stress out too much, to stress yourself, even though you have like time schedules and you're running late because of different reasons. Just breathe and think and uh, be rational. <laughs> I don't know. So that's a little update from today. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to upload videos a little more frequently. If there's any kind of video you would like to see, uh, let me know and <laughs> I'll see what I can do. And again, I just want to say welcome all new subscribers and welcome back uh, previous subscribers. <laughs> I'm so grateful for um, all of you. All the liking, the commenting, uh, yeah, <laughs> I really appreciate it. 
Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start driving now. So um, I hope you like this little update <laughs> thingy, and I'll see you next time. Freaking take care, everyone. Stay safe out there, and uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, bye. Thank you.